Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do another quick little update for you really fast, very quickly. As you see, my portfolio is at $11,681.24, down 0.54% today, which is $64.69. And after hours, it is down 1.27%. We're just going to go over the past week and the past year. Past week, past year, that's all, okay. In the past week, we're up 9.51%. As you all know, the... Oh, stock market is starting to do a little rebound. Most people believe it's just bull's trap. <coughs> but we're going to have to uh, wait another few weeks to see if that's the case. If we're going to see lower lows, if possible. Honestly, I hope we to see lower lows. I get to deposit some money tomorrow after I get the, bait, the bills paid. But let's go over the portfolio. As you see, I have 2600 in um, uh, buying power. Probably we'll get that up to 31 or 3200 tomorrow. Um, depending on how much I have left over, let's go breach position. Uh, square is at 51.12 right now. Uh, oh, actually, let's go over the one year. One year, I didn't go over one year. In the one year, we we're up 17.84%. The highest point we were at was about 37,000. The highest point, I believe. But we're still up 17.84% because of the little rebound, but... I won't be surprised if we see lower lows in the next coming weeks <clears throat> or the next coming months. The longer it stays down, the better it is for people that want to get into the stock market, in my opinion, because this is probably one of the best opportunities we've had to get into the stock market since probably the last crash back in 2008-2009. But let's go over position square down 4.76%, uh, 2.41% after hours the past week, up 0.76%. And in the past, one year, it is down 32.37%. This one, I want to get in heavy. It, I'm still below my average cost, so I'm willing to buy a lot more of it. Because uh, for Square, the 52-week high is at uh, 77.25. And right now, it's at 51. And I believe Square has way more potential than just to hit $87. As you see, my average cost is 59 0.35, I have 19 shares, it's at 51 right now, and I'm down 13.87%. Uh, the next one is Facebook, it's at $164.99. It was up 0.51% today, but after hours, it is down 1.09%. And in the past year, it is down 1.69%. Uh, I have 11 shares, my average cost is $10 above what it is right now at uh, 174 I'm down 5.32%. Same thing with Facebook. 52 week high was at 224 and Facebook is a monster. It will keep going up more and more and more. So if you get in right now, you will be able to get it at a $60 discount from its 52 week high. $60 times my shares, that's how much profit I would get. If it gets back to its 52 week high, it's all time high. Next one, Nvidia, it's at 259 right now. It was down 1.75% today. After hours, it is down 1.44%. Looks like tomorrow's gonna be a red day. Past week up 2.46%, and in the past year it's still up a lot 41.77%. Now, five shares at $193.60, very good average cost for me. It's up 34.2%, $331.04. Next one, Tesla. Oof, I want to get back to my high amount of shares. I used to have like I think 20 or 30 shares, and I only have three shares now. No. I know, I need to, I wish Tesla can just go back down more and more. I want to get back to at least 10 shares. So if we can get back to like 400, I can probably get uh, more shares. You see in the past, today, just today, it was up 4.36%, but after hours, it was up 1.68%. Past week, down 5.47%, and the past year, it's up 82.29%. I have three shares, my average cost is at 514.45, I'm up only point. 15%, which is just $2.25. If it goes to 475, I'll buy another one. Every time it goes down $25, I'll buy more shares. I want to get back to 10 plus shares in Tesla. Uber is at 27.10 right now, uh, down 2.94% after hours, and today it was up 0.32% past week, up 3.51% past year. Down 39.78%. I have 48 shares, average cost 3336. I'm down 18.77%, which is $300. Uh, same thing, I want Uber to go back. I think Uber was at 
$13? Crazy. You could have doubled your money so quickly. Didn't have that much money. I need to get more money to get into the markets, but it's just hard. They're cutting my hours at work now. It's crazy. Next one, Roku. It was at 85.62%. 8.62 today. 2.38% today. Down 2.13 after hours past week. Down 12.5. In the past year, it's up 29.34%. I have 24 shares. My average cost is so high at 112.35. I don't want to get that much because I'm starting to get a lot of equity into it. I don't want Roku to be my number one stock. If I, if I, like I said, I want to get Tesla up there. I'm down 23.79%, which is $640.54 down. Next one, IIPR. It's at $75 right now, down 5.23% today. Past week, down uh, up 10.75%. In the past year, it is down 7.97%. I have actually a pending uh, dividend. Wow, of $21. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Uh, 21 shares at 100 and one dollars and fifty two cents high total return of twenty five point two one percent. I want to get other positions established, big positions. That was before I start putting more money into these cannabis companies like I, IPR, Aurora Cannabis, and Cannabis Growth. Uh, Aurora Cannabis at 0.92 right now, 92 cents uh, up 2.07 percent. This one used to be at 50 cents, I believe, or something like that. 60 cents, 60 cents, it was at 60 cents. Uh, it's at 92 cents now, so 50% gain. If you were to go at 60 cents, which is crazy. Uh, past week it is up 26.03%. In the past year, it is down 90.1%. I have 4,746 shares at an average cost of $1.84. I'm down 49.9%, which is basically 50%, which is $4,348.29. Next one, can it be growth at 14.26 right now? It's at $14. Holy. Um, past week, it is up 6%. Past year, it is down 67.36%. I have 126 shares at $92.66, uh, uh, down 37%, which is just about over $1,000. Like I said before, I want to get other positions established before I want, before I get back into the cannabis market. And also, I was watching this other video uh, saying people are still buying cannabis right now. Actually, cannabis sales are going up, which is crazy. So now believe that cannabis is an essential good instead of like a luxury item. So that's actually crazy. So however long this lasts, people will still be buying cannabis, probably because it's a stress reliever. And right now, it's stressful, a stressful environment. People need to relax. But it's hard to relax when the economy is, people are losing their jobs and everything. So, uh, understandable why people are buying cannabis. Understandable. Next one we have is AMD at 44.87 right now, down 4.97%. Today, after hours, down 1.34%. Past week, down 4.12%. And the past year, it is up 69.83%. I got in at three shares at $41. I'm up 9.41%, which is 11.58. I would love to get this until 500. If it keeps going down more, which I, I hopefully, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the markets keep going up for, for the next month or two, because then I'd be probably be able to put in another two to three thousand dollars in the next month or two. And with that, I'll be beautiful for my portfolio. Because when the rebound comes in, I might even get back to all time highs. Even without having Tesla as a huge position, even without Tesla going back to a thousand, which it might have, it, I can, I'm saying by the end of next year, if depending on how long this lasts, by the end of next year, Tesla's going to get back to a thousand. That's what I'm predicting. It dep just depends how long this lasts. If this lasts another three months, if this lasts another three months, ah, uh, maybe I'm gonna we're gonna see a lot of people not buying much of anything, which. Is, this is going to last maybe a year or two, even two years. If if this is shut down last another three months, starting now, which is tomorrow's April 1st. And if this lasts April, May, all of April, all of May, and all of June, three months. In three months, 
more places get closed or it stays the same, more layoffs, unemployment keeps going up. It's going to be hard, hard for many people to get back to their normal lives instantly. Next one we have here, Apple at that 250, down 0.2% today. After hours, down 1.44%. Past week, down 0.1%. Past year, up 30%. I have four shares at 235. I'm up 6.26%. I was watching Jeremy from Financial Education Channel saying, and this is his opinion, saying that once we start seeing the big dogs, the trillion dollar boys club going, start getting hit harder than they are right now. I mean, they've already been hit pretty hard. If they could get hit even harder, if you see Apple going below 200, then that's probably like a signal of when we've hit the ultimate bottom. Like I would love to get Apple at two hundred dollars. Imagine Apple at two hundred. I mean, even Apple at two hundred was not that long ago, only in August. Wow, Apple has been going insane. Next one, Shopify. It's at four sixteen right now. I actually got this at such a good price at three thirty five. If it goes below three thirty five, oh, we get another one or two more shares for Shopify because it's all time high. It was at five ninety three eighty nine. Wow, that's almost double. Past week, uh, down four point five nine percent. Past year, it's up a hundred percent. Still, even after everything has been going on, Shopify is up one hundred percent. And as you see, you can see my gains. I'm up 24% just from that one share that I got at such a beautiful price. I'm up 81.84. $81.84. Next one, Microsoft. Even Microsoft, even Microsoft. Look at that. Microsoft all time high is at 190 at 155. So down 1.5% today. After I was down to 6, I think 1.57%. Past week, up 4.54%. Past year, up 30% still. So. Microsoft, $35 off its all-time highs. If it hits 120, Ooh. give me some more. Give me another two, three shares. I mean, I would love to get everything about a thousand equity or higher in positions. If I can get more money, I can put in the more money, I can, more value I can get out of it right now because this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Man, if I can work, if I could be working 80 hours a week, if that was possible, you know, I'll be doing that and I'll be putting in thousands of dollars into this market because this is beautiful. Next one, and last but not least, is Planet Fitness. It's at 48.70. Planet Fitness is 52 week high is $88. So once this is over and people get back to the gym, which I'm not, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, Planet Fitness might as well double. Might as well. It's at 0.21% today. If it can survive, you know, if it survives. Past week, up 1.46%. And the past year, down 29.57%. So I'm saying, like, once this is all over, everything will double in the next coming few years once the economy comes back to normal. It's at six shares, average cost, um, below my average cost. So if it hits 40, I'll buy another few more shares. Like I said, I want to get everything to 1,000. I really need to get lots of money pumping in to my portfolio. I'm down 4.01%. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you believe the markets are going to go rebound back, which I believe it's too soon because I believe that the markets are just, that climate will keep getting shut down. They're saying that by the end of April will be when the car, everyone starts to they start, they start the, a quarantine. But it was extended from until from April seventeenth or April seventh or something like that until um, May. So depending on if the spread slows down or if it doesn't even slow down, then this might continue even longer. The May might be might be going to summer, might be going into the June and July. If it goes into June and July, this is a lot worse than we thought. This is going to be bad. If it goes into if it lasts more than another month or two. If May 1st, if the May 1st isn't enough to get this to slow down, this is going to be very, very bad. This is going to last a long time. That's my opinion. But then, see, if they stop, if they, I mean, if they lay me off, then I won't have any money to be putting into this. 
I'm just hoping that they don't, they just cut my hours a little, just come out, don't cut, don't, just don't fire, just don't, don't fire, don't lay me off, you know what I'm saying? Because if, let's see, all of April and all of May, if it lasts another month more than it's what's expected, that's two months, I can put another 2000 to $3,000 into this market. And if Tesla can get back to 350 ooh, that's the main one that's on like for Tesla to go down to 350 That's the main one. My main buyer, Tesla. What I want to buy the most of Square. Square is next. Square, Tesla, Uber, Roku, and the cannabis. Not right now. NVIDIA is not a buy right now because I'm so high above my average cost facebook if facebook can go lower i would buy more facebook so i would go tesla square depending on how low everything goes that's how i would see it if i see anything go very very lo low like let's just say if apple hits um 200 flat and every and tesla still stays around 500 dollars, i'll buy apple it just depends on the prices if i see huge prices going down and let's say like uber goes back down to 12 bucks or 13 bucks and tesla stays 400 i'll buy one of you know because uber tesla facebook square amd shopify all of these are gonna explode right after everything's done that's my opinion that's my portfolio i'll do another video probably soon I haven't been able to do anything for the past few days been hard other than that, please drop a like, subscribe, jump